have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. What's up, everybody? Yeah. We're going to do something a little different today. No. Besides, oh, well, that's how I'm feeling right now. I like that. Anyway, I'm having problems with this filament. It's been sitting at my house for a while. It's ABS. So we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to stick it in the oven at 150 degrees Celsius with the cardboard and the internal plastic. We're going to throw it in there for a couple of hours and let it bake out the moisture because I think that's what the problem is. So I don't really know if that's the problem, but we're going to find out. So anyway, yep. Let's do it. All right, let's cut it off into the pie pan. Into the oven. It seems a little dangerous. Okay, see ya. Give it some hours. 305 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 150C. Sounds like a bad idea. Ah. Are you gonna sit with me and watch watch me bake plastic? Oh. No? You gonna see yourself? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Hey Lily, Lily, is this a good idea? Is that a good idea? Great. It's great, <laughs> she says. <laughs> You're nuts, kid. <laughs> I can't keep up. Oh, I tripped you. All right. Bye. Bye. Mmm, lunch. So the problem I'm having is it's delaminating and it's spitting and you can just hear it. So let me see if I can break this. Yeah, see? I can't even break that with one finger, one hand when I normally use this stuff. So it, apparently it's just delaminating. We'll see if that's truly the cause, but we'll start there because something's wrong. Hi, Lily. No way? Want this? You want me to hold that? And you want this? Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Can I have one? Sure. Lily, can you give Bubby one? Can you give him one to him? Mm, this could be. Don't take it. Let her give it to you. Lily. Lily, can. Lily, look. <laughs> hey, Lily. <laughs> Lily, hold your. No, Dexter, don't take it. Hold your hand out. Hold your hand out. Lily, give one to Bubby. Give one to Bubby. Hey, give one to Bubby. Give one to Bubby. Give this one to Bubby. Come on, give it to Bubby. <laughs> terror. It's a terror. Oh, it's a terror. <laughs> okay, it's been in there for, I don't know, 20 minutes. It's getting a little soft. The plastic is it's getting a little soft, so I'm turning the temperature down. I may take it out and make sure it's not going to mess up the diameter of the filament. That could be bad. I may take it out. Okay, I took it out. Looks like it got... It's not melted, but it's definitely soft. Almost like it's trying to stick together. See that? It's on the bottom. I can almost stretch it. Why would you touch that? It's not super hot. Yeah, but look, this was like de deforming. Alright, we'll turn the temperature down. Turned it down to 280. Turned it down to 280 and I put it on the very top. 
the glass was getting hot enough to sort of get the bottom temperature too hot. So we'll put it back in there for a little while longer to see what happens. I need to clean the oven, man. What are you doing? Good answer. Anyway, look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I left this in here for an hour. I ended up turning the temperature down. Turned it down lower and then lower. And eventually I was at a 125 or something, whatever, however low it goes. And then I just turned it off and let it sit in here until it dried. You can hear it's actually like stuck together. Hear that? How do you not hear that? So the real question is, is did it deform it? Like here this piece was twisted around. I think it's I think it's fine. It literally melted the end of this guy though because it was on the glass. So I think what was happening is the glass was getting hotter than everything else and so the bottom layer, which everyone was closest to the glass, seemed like it got really hot. I mean, it's not melted together in there, so that's a good thing. Minty anyone? No, I'm just using your kitchen oven for melting right. things. Isn't that great? Oh, come on! <laughs> Whoops. Oh, jeez. And your only pipe hand dish. Anyway. I know. What's the problem with that? <laughs> okay. So now it's time to just go try it. Look at that. I pulled this under to get it to not fall off the spool and look it like skewed the whole thing. See that? Look at that. Okay, let's go put it on a try. What'd you just say? This is not smell a vision. Or smell a tube or let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. What we got? What do we got? It looks like it's almost done. It kinda looks disgusting. But it's it'll look better. Chicken. It'll look better once you fix it up a little better. It looks disgusting. That's this the fat. looks disgusting. The chicken looks good though. The rest of it mm -hmm. disgusting. Well you don't eat the fat. Vomit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another mess to clean up. Mmm. Okay guys, so I just got done watching the video that you just watched and this is a completely new day. It's like almost a week later and I thought it was quite comical. So I left pretty much all of the silliness into that into that footage because it wasn't very long anyway. So the question is is can you bake filament and remove moisture? I tried it at a pretty high temperature and it is pretty bad. It really did start melting the plastic so I dropped it way 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 down so I think the best thing to do is put it at a really low temperature something like on the order of 200 degrees Fahrenheit and actually just leave it at that temperature for a long time and sort of allow the natural moisture to get out my house actually has we have a ton of humidifiers in here because we're in California and it's extremely dry and so we get nosebleeds and all sorts of bad things so Usually my printer's at work where we don't pump a bunch of moisture into the air and it's it's fairly dry. So I've actually noticed a big difference when I've been printing with the filament sitting here for about a month. So something to keep in mind, if your house is really full of moisture or your place where it rains a lot or something like this, definitely keep your filament in a place where it's where it's dry. So you can put it in like a vacuum bucket or you can put it in a bucket with a bunch of uh, the small decimeter packets so it so soaks up the moisture uh, silicon beads or whatever they are so anyway the answer to this whole entire video is yes you can actually bake your filament um, I got kinda scared there for a little bit because I thought I'd ruin the entire spool of filament which would be bad but I've been running it for days now and it seems to be fine so little sneak peek for you too I redid the uh, nozzle on the end of this guy so that nozzle you see on the end is actually tungsten yeah so look forward to that in the future and uh, look in the description because I'm gonna link something really awesome which is a Kickstarter for this actual nozzle which I'm testing for a friend in Germany named Chris rock on Chris speak to you soon brother and uh, keep the uh, keep up the amazing work so far this nozzle is working very well. I like it a lot. 
All right. That's the end of the day, boys and girls. Peace and love. It's actually 12.04 in the morning. I should go to bed, but I really want to finish some more videos on the OSD build. So, all right. Peace and love. God bless. Have a good day. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Be honest. Good, bad, and ugly. I like it all. Later.